Hey guys, welcome to Mojo 3 of the Breaking Negative VA Mindset series. And for today, I want to break this common mindset that's called, I'm always rejected. All right. But before anything else, uh, let me remind you to be part or, or to join the Barangay Bay community by clicking the link in the description box. Because girl, if you maximize this, it will really help you a lot. Here are um five facts and five reasons why this 2024, you're always rejected. That clients are not really you know, minding you why you're always rejected. Because number one, nowadays, clients are more demanding. So I remember back 2020, and whenever clients look for a social media manager, just need they need someone who can just create simple graphics to Canva and then just schedule, post it, put captions, and you're done for the week. Now, it's the other way around. You need to be a marketer already and give specific strategies to grow their social media account. Plus right now, there are a lot of types of videos or of, of content forms already. Videos, both short form and long form in different platforms. Uh, blogs, you know, podcasts, a lot. Okay, so they're more demanding right now. So you have to be able to embrace that. Because if you can't, then probably you'll be rejected. Right, next. Impactful profile matters. So a lot of you guys loves recycling profiles. I mean, once again, when you say profile, it's a resume, portfolio, um, cover letter, and video introduction. And if you do that and you do not align the content of your profile to the job description, which is what we should be doing, then, and if you're lousy, the profile is lousy, then you will not stand out from all the applicants and the client will just ignore you. Impactful profile matters a lot. So take that video introduction, you know, resume, portfolio, and cover letters seriously and customize it or personalize it based on the specific job description of that job opening for you to stand out all right do not rush it you will learn that on the next modules i will help you prepare that impactful profile because nowadays if you do not like it if you do not like intro videos because there are clients who are direct clients or requiring intro videos too then if that's lousy then most likely you won't class it but you won't close a client and you'll get rejected Number three is clients nowadays are more specific. They're specific on a non-negotiable skill or, you know, um, qualification like English uh, proficiency, like tools that you should be good at. Nowadays, um, there are clients that are looking for VAs that are not just familiar of the tool, but, you, you know, an expert on the tool that this person has been using it already. So they're more specific, especially like, for example, I see a lot of openings right now and they say they're looking for an executive assistant with social media marketing experience. They're now very, very specific. So if you are not specific too with your business profile, with your VA business plan of who you are as a business, then maybe it's going to be hard for you to apply because if you have business identity crisis, then... They will get confused to you and with you and they'll probably get ignored. So you have to fix that. Number four is that everyone is upskilling and improving their services, right? Um, and if you stay that way, then I don't think you'll stand out from all these people in that specific specialization or focus or service. That's why upskilling and learning, um, Learning budget, too, is very important for you to be able to stand out and to get that yes from that client. And lastly, puede na is not applicable. When you say puede na, it means, okay, so-so, mediocre. is not applicable anymore. The key is to stand out. 
and how they stand out. You make sure that your profile is better and more impactful. You're giving that positive impression through that introduction video and your skill sets and the way you solve their problem as a service provider is a lot better than the rest. So you need to do competitors check. You need to upskill to be able to, you know, um, give or provide better services to your clients. And you better learn how to sell yourself in a very creative way. Okay, so pwede na is not applicable. So thank you. Okay. And I hope you guys learned a lot from this and you guys were able to reflect from this module. And assignment is, what will you start doing in order for you to close the client soon? Comment it here in the comment section if you haven't really, um, you know, followed me or subscribed me this channel yet to Barangay VA University, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe now by clicking the link in the description box. Or here, not description box, here. And the notification bell. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.